previous tutorials, we've taken a broad look at the voicing flexibility possible with Viscount's Physis organ system. Now I'm going to dig a bit deeper to show you some of the more detailed voicing options for individual pipe sounds. Because Physis is based on a computer model of the way organ pipes work, the timbral quality of its voices can be changed by adjusting parameters of the pipe model. Whereas a pipe voicer would be able to adjust things like the scale of the pipe, the cut up, the height of the mouth and so forth, the Physis model translates these things into controls that an ordinary user can approach more easily. Almost all of the voicing parameters can be accessed from the control panel on the organ itself. The only thing you can't get at here is the note-by-note -note regulation of a voice's loudness, for which you need the Physis editor software and a laptop. In order to access the detailed voicing parameters from the home screen, you need to select Voices, and then Edit Parameters, and then select the division of the organ that you want to work on. As with other voicing options, you'll then get a list of the stops on the instrument so you can choose which one to edit. And we're going to start out with a flue stop, in this case a four-foot harmonic flute as the effects of changes are quite audible. Having selected it, we see the list of voicing parameters available. The basic tonal quality of the voice has already been designed, but we can make some adjustments here to fine tune the voicing. Character at the top of the list is roughly equivalent to altering the scale or diameter of the pipe for flue stops. As with pipe voicing, as we vary this from a wide scale at the bottom of the range to a narrow scale at the top, the tonal character varies from being mellow to quite bright. So here it is in the middle of the range at zero. We take it down to the bottom of the range. The tone becomes quite mellow, as for a broader scaled pipe. And at the top of the range, almost principle-like. Let me take it back to the middle. Moving down to air noise, we have a way of altering the breathiness of a voice or the sound of wind blowing through a pipe. At the bottom of the range, the sound has an almost pure tone with no air noise at all. And as we move up the range, you can begin to hear more of it. top of the range, the sound is very breathy, so we'll take that back down to somewhere in the middle of the range. The next parameter in the list affects the stability of the tone, and it's labelled harmonic noise. It affects both the fundamental tone and all the harmonics, and at the bottom of the range you can hear that the tone remains absolutely stable as the note is sustained. Further up, in the middle of the range, you can hear that the tone begins to burble in a rather random fashion. And at the top of the range, it's really quite unstable. And if you listen to the sounds of real pipes, you'll notice that some of them do this more than others. It depends to some extent on winding, mouth height, and the degree of nicking employed, among other things. So again, we'll take that down to something more realistic. Attack, next on the list, is relatively self-explanatory and controls the rate at which the virtual pipe speaks. And for flu pipes, the design attack value is zero, but you can make them slower to speak by increasing the value. We take it up to the top of the range be much slower to speak. Back down to the bottom. For reed pipes, the design attack value is four in the middle of the range, and you can make them both slower and faster to speak than this. Release detuning affects what happens when you release the key. At high values, you tend to get something of a pitch droop as the wind pressure falls when the key is lifted. 
As with other physis parameters, some real pipes and winding systems tend to do this more than others. So the amount of it you set will depend on the style of organ you're trying to emulate. Here, at a value of zero, you can hear that nothing much happens at the end of the note. The pitch remains pretty stable. Higher value, you can just begin to hear that the pitch is beginning to droop at the end of the note. And here, you can hear rather more clearly that the pitch is drooping as the note goes off. So we'll take again this back down to a more realistic value of around two. If we scroll further down, there are some further parameters to adjust. The keyboard low and high levels allow you to regulate the way that loudness changes across the range of the keyboard. The low level gradually scales up or down the level below middle C and high does the same above middle C. And that's superimposed on any individual note regulation that might have been done using the Physis editor software. So it acts as a general scaling of loudness across the note range. Volume has the same effect as the voice volume setting shown in a previous tutorial and simply sets the basic loudness of the voice across the whole range. Finally, it's possible to choose which of two tremulants affects this voice. Elsewhere in the system, you can set the global speed and the depth of these two tremulants. So if we turn the tremulant on, this is the second tremulant, which is relatively deep and slow. And if we make that uh, applied to the first tremulant, you can hear that's shallower and faster. With reed stops, the air noise parameter is not available as it's not really relevant, but we have frequency skew instead. Here we're looking at a trumpet voice's parameters. Frequency skew affects the pitch instability during the onset of a note. When it's low, you can hear that the note starts up quite smoothly on pitch. But when it's high, there's something of a squawk as the note starts up. The frequency takes a long time to settle, well, a longer time to settle. And we come back down to the middle and down to the bottom. And you can hear the note starting up very steadily. Again, some styles and voicings of real reed pipes tend to do this more than others, so you might want more of it to emulate the speech of a Spanish trompeta reale, for example, than you would for an English cornopian. In the case of mixtures, character behaves slightly differently. Because a mixture stop is made up of multiple ranks of pipes, each sounding a different harmonic. If we adjust the character, you can hear that the relative amounts of different harmonics making up the mixture change. There being more of the quint or fifth of the scale at the top of the range and more of the octaves at the bottom. So if we take this down to minus four and listen to this furniture mixture, you hear quite a lot of the octave component in the middle of the scale and at the top of the scale. You can hear more of the quint component at the top of the scale. That completes my short tour of the detailed voicing parameters available on Physis organs, giving you a sense of the degree to which virtual pipe sounds can be tailored to suit a particular voicing intention. Unlike sampled organs, the pipe sound here is being synthesized from scratch in real time, so we have a very wide range of control over its speech, stability and timbral character. 